Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Jordan, and I'm back with another drawing video. In this video, I'm doing something completely different. I've been getting comfortable doing the same type of horror drawings, the portraits, and I wanted to do something different. I thought it'd be cool to really step outside of my comfort zone, try something completely different. So, what can be more different from portrait horror drawings to modern architecture? I don't know. Not much, it's pretty different. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing something a little bit different. I had to use different drawing techniques and it was a real challenge. I've actually finished a drawing when I'm recording this. I thought I should do an intro to it, kind of explain how it all goes, what's gonna go into it. And it was a really, really interesting drawing. So I hope you guys enjoy watching it. I actually drew this for a competition, which by the time you're watching it, probably ends in a couple of days. So if you wanna give my entry a like, help support me, I'll leave a link in the video description so you can check it out, give it a thumbs up. I don't think it really matters on the judging. The judge is gonna choose the winner anyway, so I don't think likes really matter, but if you wanna show your support there, it would be much appreciated. I'll let you guys know how I go. Heaps of people have entered, so I'm not that hopeful. I just mainly wanted to try something different and I thought this was a really good opportunity to jump on that and potentially win something. I don't know. <laughs> it's always good motivation to maybe win something. Um, it's also good just motivation to actually get it done on time. And it took a really long time. There's lots of straight lines as you see in the line work here. Lots of kind of ruling and stuff. I didn't record a lot of the line work process because I'm using a ruler and my head's getting in the way. It was just a really tedious and boring process, I'll be honest, a little bit stressful, but hopefully with the coloring, you can kind of see some more of that and hopefully you guys enjoy it. So I'm gonna talk a bit about what's going into it. I don't know, I'll talk about something. I don't know, but I hope you guys enjoy and I'll speak to you soon. It's funny looking back at this drawing because the start of it is so ugly. I remember when I was doing it, I was really concerned it wasn't going to work out. It just wasn't working how I wanted it to work. The colours weren't turning out how I wanted it to. It started looking muddy and just messy. It was a real struggle for me to try and make it look good. I was so worried because I spent so long on the line work and then the colouring was just looking terrible, let's be honest. <laughs> It was just so messy. I don't know what was happening. I was probably overworking it. So then the challenge became to try and make the texture actually work with the piece. So I tried to draw in some wood grain into the certain panels that are on the house and try and have a slight weathered look and miraculously, spoilers, it kind of came together by the end. There's still things which I would have done differently. Some of the lighting on the house, like inside the windows, I would probably tone it down a little bit. I tried to save a lot of it with the pencils, just going back over the Copics and trying to make it look a bit nicer. But it was all a big struggle. A lot of time went into this. I've cut out a bunch of the process, partly because I was just worried that it wasn't going to turn out, so I didn't want to put the whole thing in there. When I'm drawing and I'm like, this isn't working, maybe I don't really want to show the whole process because it could turn out completely terrible. That was part of the reason, and also to try and keep it a little bit shorter because this was a really long drawing process that went into this piece. I had to line, do the line work pretty much a second time because after I had coloured it and then did some pencil work, the line work was looking a bit faded. I needed to kind of go back in and thicken that up to make it pop a bit more. So that was really fun doing the line work a second time because, you know, the first time wasn't tedious enough. I just felt like drawing some more straight lines and it was awesome. I definitely want to do more architectural drawings in the future. <sighs> Hey guys, so I felt like doing something a little bit different for this video. I feel like I get a lot of people asking, how do you get good at art? And I always kind of say, just practice and that type of thing. And I think 
it can often be romanticized, if that's a word. Um, the art process, what artists do, practicing, it always seems kind of nicer than it sometimes is. So I wanted to just show you a little bit of the behind the scenes, not edited photos on Instagram where everything's all positioned nicely and all that type of thing. Showing my workspace um, and just talking a little bit about what actually goes into these artworks and how I go about things. So currently, what is it? It's like 12.30 night or early morning whatever um i'm about to have dinner i have a really weird schedule so i'm pretty much always up till at least 3 a.m generally drawing or editing these videos for you guys and yeah just a lot of time and work goes into this stuff and i just feel like it's important to show that not because i'm trying to be like, oh, I feel sorry for me because I'm putting in all this time and whatever. But for you guys who want to improve yourselves and who want to get good at art, probably have a better schedule than me. You don't have to be up this late. That's kind of just how I work. So I want to kind of show you guys that and kind of just in a more laid back and not so edited way. I thought it'd be kind of cool to chuck that in into this video. So I'm going to eat and then I'm going to check back in with you guys and show you the drawing I'm working on currently and hopefully finishing tonight because I really got to get that done. So I'm sorry if all this stuff isn't super formal, just how I'm holding the camera and everything, but I just wanted to kind of keep it more real in this video and you guys can kind of just see the process, what goes into it. And it's not always glamorous. In fact, it isn't glamorous at all. So I will check back in in a minute. All right, I have finished eating. It's getting late, so I really need to finish this drawing off. I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys what I'm up to. So I'm just doing the final highlights. I've already done a couple of the highlights. We're gonna jump right into it and get it done. Finally. One really important thing which I tell myself over and over when I do these drawings, there's at least one stage in the drawing where I kind of doubt myself and think that maybe it's not going to turn out how I want it to and it's going to look terrible, but I just try and have some faith in myself. I've done this so many times and it all seems to work out in the end, so I try and stick with the drawing even if it looks like it's not going to go so well. That's my encouragement for you guys, is to stick it out. At least finish the drawing, because it's way more satisfying than leaving it half finished and just giving up halfway through. Just get it done. Sometimes you'll be really surprised how it turns out. And even if it's not perfect, you'll at least learn something from the process. So there are my little words of encouragement to you guys who are aspiring artists. We all go through stages where we think our drawings are terrible. It's just part of it, honestly, and the people who think their drawings are amazing are often just delusional, so <laughs> it's better to be a bit self-critical, but just keep it in moderation. A healthy dose of self-criticism will actually help you improve, but if you're too critical of your own work, it's just going to discourage you from even trying in the first place, and then you're going to want to give up on it, and then you're never going to get anywhere if you give up. So try and stay positive, Work through the barriers where you think it's going to be terrible and maybe you'll even surprise yourself and realise that you might not be as shit as you thought you were. <laughs> yep, pretty much 3am. I am definitely ready for bed. The drawing is just about done. A couple of final touches I'll do tomorrow when the lighting's a bit better so it will look a bit nicer for filming. But... This is how it looks at the moment. So I just need to do a couple more highlights and then we're done and I'll frame it up in this and it should look pretty cool. So I will get on with it tomorrow. It's the final highlights. Do -do 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 okay, I'll shut up. <laughs> Uh, I should stick to my horror stories instead of making these lame jokes. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, I'm just delirious because I'm glad it's over. So if you guys want to support me, check out my entry. I'll leave a link. Give it a like. Let's just smash it. So then the judges feel really bad if they choose someone else's and then mine's got the most likes. So let's get that done. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was really all over the place. It was something different. If you want, if you got... If you guys want to see some different videos like this in the future, let me know. Support the video, subscribe if you're new, give it a thumbs up. All that bullshit that doesn't fucking matter. And I'll catch you guys in the next drawing video. Bethany's stories about the elf started getting stranger. She told me that one night she woke up to the elf sitting on the dollhouse next to her bed, watching her with its empty glass eyes.